It ain't a disc brake bike unless it dings. It's really good. SL7 S Works Purple. You voted, it got delivered, we just picked it up. It's not the same color, is it Natasha, is this the same color as the online? Uh, absolutely not. It's not. It is. It's very dark mauve. It almost looks brown. I wouldn't have got. I wouldn't have chosen this color if I saw it in real life. Neither. First world problem. But hey, this isn't a fashion review. I think the paint looks. The quality looks good. About the same as the Pragma, but the color not a fan. But again, this is not fashion. And that, some of you may love this color. I know. But that's yeah. Doesn't matter. If I like it or not. Let's weigh it up. It's got pedals on there. All right. This is specialized. Says it's UCI legal. It's definitely UCI legal. It's seven point Natasha level. Ooh, here we go. Come over here, Bedard, and have a look at that. What's that say? Seven thousand five hundred and fifty grams. All right. We'll pause that camera and we'll weigh another bike. A race bike. Cover your scales again. Um, this, this is that like the bike is? You're holding it in your hand while you're getting the scales ready. This is a Merida, same factory, similar factory in China. SL7 S Works comes out of China. This Merida out of China. And if I'm incorrect with that, something specialised, leave a comment down below. But this is what I'm told from industry contacts, etc. Made in China, specialised. This one here is Natasha, sweetheart, come over here. What does that say? 6,500 grams. All right, and it's got a power meter on there. It's got a bottle cage on there. And it's got a mirror on there, so it's got for an extra 100 grams. <laughs> and it's got a bride and mount. Yeah, so it's probably about 100 grams, 120 grams extra. And these, these pedals are actually heavier. These are the old XTR on the SL7 or the new XTR. So there you go, that's straight away the SL7. If you're a racer, you get a massive disadvantage straight away out of the box. I shouldn't say massive, but we saw this year in the Australian Road Championships, Kellen O'Brien was riding the SL7. Lost the race. I would say lost because he didn't have enough water. But if he wasn't a lighter bike, you know, a 6.8 kilo legal bike, then, you know, with 1,000 gram tubs on it, he would have got across the line and still won. But that marginal gain difference, that's what I mean. I mean, it doesn't matter for me because I'm just a weekend warrior. But if you're a racer, you wouldn't choose the SL7. If you did, you don't know bikes that well, all your responses are right, you have no choice. If you wanted a specialized product, I'd recommend the LA Elite. The Alloy 105 bike, you could put a tram and grips on there, put some nice lower wheels. That LA Elite is the lightest bike you could get from Specialized today, really. Even lighter than Atheos if you switch some parts out. So anyway, let's have a closer look at this build kit. It's gonna be a fun video. Got, um, I've got the box, where's the box of goodies? We're gonna, give, we're gonna try and be objective here, uh, talk about the pros and cons. This is, I do like this, this is Specialized uh, Roval, made in China. Um, this is pretty cool. It's got a little car there. It's got the length of the spokes and stuff like that. So that makes it easy if you're in a bike shop or if you're a customer, you break a spoke because you're going to break spokes on disc brakes because there's more torsion or flex and stuff like that. So I mean, break spokes in any wheel, but it's fantastic. They've got the numbers of the spokes there. The, uh, you yeah, know, that's pretty cool. It doesn't say though, which is front and which is rear. So that might be a bit of a, actually, well, yeah, they should have started rear and front <laughs> and then you've got to work out which is which so they did got a halfway right uh, in the box you get um, I'm going to try and make this bike a bit lighter I'm going to change the cranks out I'm going to put my absolute black rings on there these are absolute blacks and uh, these are a lot lighter and I prefer the gear ratios than what Shimano has but again it's personal preference I rate absolute black um, they're lighter and they feel smoother in the box with your SL7 tarmac it has a whole host of goodies in here, just some stuff from China, and uh, instruction manuals that we never read, but we'll put these in a recycling bin. Uh, this does come with a proprietary, it's actually not a proprietary stem, it's a specialised stem. Uh, there was none in stock, so we've got another one coming in May, but in the meantime I put on actually a lighter stem. This is a Uno, you know, a Calloy, you know, famously uh, cheap and light and stiff and strong and durable, so we've got that on there. Uh, we've got some spaces in there just to play with height. This bike apparently comes stock with different headset spaces. But uh, we're going to do a bit about that. Um, we've got giant handlebar tape on there. So we've got this bike from one of the, the main specialised dealers here in Adelaide. They've done a fantastic job building up. Looks good, man. Yeah. Rides really smooth. Gears work fantastic. So they've done a great job. Um, and it's good to see giant, giant branded product on a specialised uh, S-Works SL7. I didn't think I'd see that. It's a bit of a nod to the 
the guys at Giant Adelaide, I guess. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna uh, build this bad boy up and take it for a spin and see what we think. But right out of the box, it is heavy. It ain't no ballerina. This baby gotta go on a, a low fat diet and try and shed some pounds. So we've got a, we've got a cat tail. Yeah, this little cat's gonna have a little sniff there, there go. Some products straight from China. And uh, a bit of Japanese writing on there. What can you see, Roxy? What can you see? So you've got different spaces. we got some, these are for your disc brakes. I checked, the, the disc brakes don't rub yet. So the shop's set them up so far so good. But again, if you, if you do buy a brand new bike and the brakes rub, it's not the shop's fault. That's just the nature of the, the disc brakes. They're very feminine. Like, they're like cats, you know, they're very feminine. They come and go as they please. And if you try and fight that, then you'll be up, uh, you'll have a lot of frustration there. So it comes with, what's this plastic thing? It's like a, uh, well, that's a stem cap for the specialized stem. There's a little ring here, I'm not sure what that's for. You got these. Uh, these are if you, if you want to run a carbon rail saddle, that's good that they've put on there. It's just carbon, they're normally a, I think a nine mil gap and the other one's a seven. If you did mix them up and put a, a carbon rail on an alloy one, you'd probably crack the thing. You've got some valves here for tubeless. I think there's some tubeless wheels there. You got some little plugs for, uh, I'm not sure what. And then you've got headset spaces and stuff in here. So this is, uh, yeah. But it is cool that um, it does have the option where you can just put a normal stem on there. So that's they've done that right. Mount options, that's... Uh, wow. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is for Barfly Wahoo. Oh, so that's a Barfly one. And uh, so different brands on there. Why can't we just have... Uh, guys, Garmin, Wahoo, etc. Brighton, why can't we just have one... You know what I mean? All this stuff's going to end up floating in the Pacific one day. Why can't we just have mm. just the one, the one there? <laughs> why do we have to have so many different ones? I mean, it's cool that Specializer spec in it, but look at all this, look at this waste, man. Look at all this extra waste. We can just have one, you know, one, one sort of setup instead of, you know what I mean? It's all going to be floating in the Pacific one day. <laughs> Very classic, but uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of options there. Uh, let's have a close up of this bike. S works in the kitchen. Um, you can see here it has got standard stem, so that's good that it's not like a canyon where it's proprietary. Uh, you can see the spaces there. Sort of um, some some people might go, oh, that looks a bit rough, a bit cheap, but for me it doesn't bother me. It works, it works fine. And you want to make sure that your steerer plug. We'll pop the steerer plug out at another video and see how long it goes. I recommend the steerer plug go below the lower stem bolt, otherwise you risk cracking your steerer and, and your forks failing on you one issue though is with these if you wanted to check your bike for the ring of death it looks like you might have to uh you may have to re-bleed disconnect everything just to drop your fork out to uh to check for the ring of death or if you want to service your headset i could be wrong with that but that's my assumption so that's what you just get with uh once things go in here it's a lot more a lot more faffing around for basic stuff so the paint quality i say well, look it feels pretty good it's um yeah Feels as good as any bike these days. So we'll take these cranks off, put some lighter cranks on there, try and make it a bit more lightweight. And uh, it's quite, we've got to, yeah, you can see, so see the paint finishes, you know, it's a, it's my Pragma frames so have a better quality finish than that. So it does look a little bit cheap for, this is an 8,000 Australian dollar frame. Um, but again, that's, that's not gonna affect performance whatsoever. That's purely cosmetic. But I'd say for the money you'd expect, you know, You'd expect it would be a little bit <laughs> even more even finished. Let's have a look around here. Um, that looks pretty good. But again, you're also considering with weight as well, you've got to add, you know, you've got to carry an Allen key to take out if you get a flat tire and all that. So that's what you've got to add in as well, that you're not just got to, um, you know, I don't normally carry multi tool when I ride, but if you're going to ride disc brake uh, through axle, you need to carry multi tool. Sway some stuff. We're going to, this is a front wheel, right? So if you're a racer, you got a front wheel on there. The, the wheel with the tire, lightweight tube, 1,210 grams. People, oh, you got, to, you got to take the rotor off. Do you ride with or without brakes? I'll ride with brakes. The rotor's coming on there. All right, so that's, so it's about 1,205, 1,210. We've got a lightweight wheel here and the brakes, uh, the disc is actually in the rim. There's a tube in there as well. And uh, so you can see there, so you're saving, you know, almost, Four or five hundred grams just for the front wheel alone. But let's get realistic. Not everyone's going to buy lightweights. But this is a Dura S wheel we got off a local rider. Fifty bucks for the front wheel. It's about twelve years old. It's been hardly been ridden. 
and what does it weigh in? So 300 grams or so lighter, about 297 grams lighter. For 50 bucks, we saved uh, you know, almost 300 grams, but we can't put it on obviously because this is rim brake and this is disc. So bike industry is loving these discs at the moment. But it's heavy, man. This is this is the high-end rim. This is a CE38, which is the same rim as a CLX, but it does have a, uh, a 350 hub, which is, these are pretty light anyway. But look at the chunk. Look at the chunk on that. Baby got some back. Baby got back 1,200 grams. Wow, this feels really heavy. First of all, problems though. It's actually a pretty heavy tire. Um, these aren't the lightest tire. So what we're gonna do in this Specialized, I'm gonna put some Frouser tires on there. We're gonna put some 5,000s on there. 227 and uh, the Gator, Gator Shell is good, good tire, but we were, we're going for some wattage tests here, so 280. So we're, we're gonna save 50 grams per wheel, which is, you know, we could save 300 if we had rim brakes, but we don't. Was forced to ride disc. No discussion. You must ride the disc. You must ride the disc. The disc, no option, bros. You ride the disc, okay? Front wheel. It's got a Dura-Ace rotor on there, and this is a lightweight version uh, in terms of that. It's a you know, it's a nice quality carbon rim. Feels really nice to ride. The rim does very smooth. But you see the radial spokes on the left, and you got it's like two cross on the right there. So the reason why they've done that radial left to save a bit of weight, because you know, the more spokes you have, the more more weight and less aero it is. So you get more drag there. Uh, and also, I find I don't think you know, radial left cross right is, is good, but you got to do that for a disc. Um, this is how it is. But yeah, you got extra weight, and it just doesn't feel as doesn't turn as good in my opinion. But uh, yeah, Peak Talk did a good video about through axles and. What a sort of gimmick they are for road, but anyway, each their own. I agree with Peg Talk on that one though. But yeah, this is definitely heavy. You wouldn't want to be a, a sponsored rider having to ride this heavy stuff. It would be uh, a disadvantage when every second matters for sure. It's definitely heavy. Taking the cranks off the rig, and uh, we're going to weigh these chainings. Like this is the Durace, latest current model Durace. The scale's working. Let's get scales. Hello. Hello there. So this is the Durace, brand new. This is why we use wax chains or squirt for that. So he turned into black grinding paste. We'll give him a clean and flip them off to someone who wants them. If you want some free chainings, let me know. I don't need to use these ones. So 52, 36, let me know. I'll post them out to you. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want some Duras chainings. I don't use for them. And these are the absolute black, 46, 30. 132 grams, 129, 129. Oh, actually 100, 130, so. They're not much different as much as I thought. The saving is like 100 and under there for 140, 138. So I'm saving maybe 10 grams. Maybe, maybe that was a bit inaccurate, but these are definitely lighter. By much, we're not sure, but they're definitely lighter. And I prefer the ratios. We're here with the cranks. I can see the bottom bracket finishes. You know, it's not it's not what you'd expect. Um, you know, it's painted more of <laughs> That's really, that looks really cheap. You know, it doesn't affect the performance at all. We're just, we're just nitpicking here, but it's, you know, that, look at that. You know what I mean? Like my Pragma frames are literally better than this. And you can buy, for the price of eight Pragma frames, you can buy one of these frames and come out of the same fraction. You know, oh, I should have said that. Oops. Um, but yeah, interesting, isn't it? Interesting. It ain't a disc brake bike unless it dings. Took the wheel in, put the wheel back in, ding, ding, ding. So that's disc brakes. Welcome to the world of disc brakes. This is what I love, specialized marketing. This bike with pedals, some lightweight XDR pedals. I've put lighter cranks in there, lighter chain rings. One bottle cage, so it's a race bike now, a head unit, which is included in UCI weight limit. 7.5 kilos. And specialized have the nerve to say, the 6.8 kilo limit, you know, it's like it's just... We're like 750 grams over the weight limit, all right? But how am I gonna shave 750 grams off this bike? I've already got put lighter tires in there, lighter tubes, and we're still 750 grams over. I'm gonna have to drop three or 4,000 bucks or more on a set of new wheels, and I'm still not gonna be 750 deficit. I'm gonna have to run a, a $500, 100 gram saddle, and I'm still not gonna be, you know what I mean? Like, I've got but the lighter stems you can get, I could spend, you know, like to, to get this 6.8 kilo, 
I have to get tubulars on here. You know what I mean? It's, it's absolute joke. These are heavy, piggish bikes. But I dare say, it's going to be really comfortable. It's a gravel bike. This is a gravel bike, right? This ain't a road race. This is being a road race, but it's not a road race bike. For me, it's a gravel bike. Look at this awesome tire clearance. This is not a road bike. This is a gravel bike, all right? This is a gravel bike, okay? So just get a get a gravel bike and then you can run 50 mil. Get a, one of my Pragma frames. This is basically a Pragma gravel breaker, you know? Um, with an $8,000 price tag. But again, I'm just sharing my comments and criticisms. End of the day, as long as you're riding, that's what matters. Tomorrow, we're going to do a time trial on this and uh, see how it goes. It's 7.5 kilos with pedals, a cage, and a Brighton. So way above UCL limit. Way above UCL limit. <laughs> we have mechanical, which is a little bit lighter. The shifters are heavier, but the overall group set, mechanical Durace, is lighter than the DI2 Durace. Um, so it is lighter, uh, not, not, not much in it because the weights don't factor in the battery. You might have an internal battery, which you have on this one. So they generally, when they weigh the group sets on those review sites, which are just paid endorsement sites, cycling use, etc., cycling tips, they don't include the battery. So it's a bit industry bias, which I get it. But you know, the consumer don't believe everything you read on the internet. If you do, you're a bit of a noob. But yeah, this is you know a totally unbiased review. I'm going to give you the, all the positives of this bike, and I'll give you all the negatives as well. Right now, the tire clearance looks fantastic. So if you're, you know, if you're a barrister and you've got a bit of a bad back and you want to run 30 mil 232s, in there, you're going to do that. This is a fantastic barrister bike. You know, dentist or or whatever. You just you know you don't have the flexibility you used to have or whatever. It's fantastic for that. You know, you want to have a bit of status and stuff like that. And for sure, it's a great bike for that. I think I, I know this bike is gonna descend really, really well. You know, it's, just, it's heavy, it's heavy. And it's got thick, uh, you know, room for thicker tires. So this is, this is the, this would be a great bike for descending. For climbing and racing, not for me.